Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to crochet this beautiful spiked sedge stitch afghan square. And if you are joining me for the Make It Your Way crochet along, welcome. This is the uh, week one, option one crochet square for that crochet blanket. So it's worked in the beautiful spiked sedge stitch. As you can see here, the finished square measures approximately 11 by 11 inches. And if you are working the blanket, you are going to make four of these Afghan squares. Today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using a worsted weight yarn. I'm going to be using the Vanna's Choice by Lion Brand. It's a 100% acrylic yarn. I'll be working in the color linen today. Uh, if you are making this square, you're going to need about 130 yards to complete one square. Again, if you're making the blanket, you'll make four of these squares. You're also going to need a 6 millimeter or J10 crochet hook and a copy of the free written pattern, which is on richtexturescrochet.com. And you'll find the direct link down there in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video you'll find a link uh, to the information page for the crochet along if this is your first time hearing about it. I'd love for you to join us. So uh, thank you again for joining me while you're here. Don't forget to subscribe, take a look around, uh, stay tuned for the other crochet afghan squares for this crochet along. It's going to be a lot of fun and check out some of the other free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. This channel is updated every week. For our afghan square today, we're going to be working in rows. So you're going to take your yarn and make a slip knot. And you're going to begin by working a foundation chain to work the square. Uh, as I have done, you're going to begin by chaining 35 and that will give you approximately 11 by 11 inches. If you need to change the size of your square, you're going to need a multiple of three stitches plus two for your foundation chain. But today I'm going to start with 35. Thirty-five. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook, and then single crochet into each chain all the way across. At the end of this row, you are going to have a total of 34 single crochet stitches. At the end of row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're going to work in the first stitch. So the stitch at the base of our turning chain, our turning chain, that chain one does not count as a stitch. For row two, you're going to work a single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet all into the same stitch, all into that first stitch. Skip the next two stitches and into your next stitch, work a single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet stitch. We're going to repeat that all the way across, skip the next two stitches, into your next stitch, single crochet, half double crochet and double crochet into your next stitch. Repeat that all the way across until you have three stitches remaining. Now 
Once you come all the way across at the end of row two and have three stitches remaining, you're simply going to skip those next two stitches and work a single crochet into your final stitch. That brings you to the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. For row three, we're going to start by working a single crochet and half double crochet into our first stitch. We're then going to work a double crochet into the space below the first single crochet stitch two rows below. Okay, so here we have our single crochet stitch right here and then into the top of the stitch directly below it, two rows below, so into the top of the first single crochet of row one, you're going to work a double crochet. Yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work and insert your hook under that first stitch. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two more. You're then going to skip the next two stitches, which is a double crochet and a half double crochet. And into your next single crochet stitch, work a single crochet, half double crochet, and then work a long double crochet into the space under that single crochet stitch. So into the same space, two rows below. Yarn over, Bring your hook in front of your work and into that space under the single crochet stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. We're then going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two stitches into your next stitch, which is a single crochet. You're going to work a single crochet stitch, half double crochet stitch, and then work a long double crochet working over that single and into the space two rows below. Work a double crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across until you come to your final single crochet stitch. When you come all the way across at the end of your row three, you'll have three stitches remaining. You're simply going to work a single crochet into the top of that final stitch. Chain one and turn your work. Now for rows four through to 26, so for 23 more rows, you're simply going to repeat that row three. So beginning for row four, single crochet and half double crochet into that first stitch. Then work a long double crochet working over that single crochet and into the same space two rows below. Work a double crochet. Skip the next two stitches into your next stitch work a single crochet, half double crochet, then once again into the space under that single crochet, the same space, two rows below, work a long double crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across until you have three stitches remaining. Skip those final two stitches and work a single crochet in your final stitch, chain one and turn. So you're going to repeat this row three until you have a total of 26 rows and that uh, includes your first single crochet row. So we're just working through to row 26. Then you can uh, meet me back here and we're going to work a simple edging around our square to finish it off nicely. 
Once you have worked through to 26, row 26, so you'll have a total of 25 rows of spiked sedge stitch as well as your row of single crochet. So come to the end of row 26, you're going to fasten off and weave in your ends. And we're going to just work a simple edging around our blanket. So up in our top corner, join your yarn with a slip stitch and chain one. Now for my blankets to make it easier when joining them, I worked a round of single crochet stitches all the way around and for my rounds I've worked 34 single crochet stitches across the top, one in the corner and 34 down the side and so forth all the way around. As you are working this, if you find uh, you need to, in some of the squares you will, you'll need to add more or less stitches than the individual stitches allow, then you can do that. Just make sure that for each square you're working the same number of stitches across the sides to make it easier to join. So I'm going to start by working 34 single crochet stitches all the way across the top of my square. When I'm working across my top it's fairly easy, I'm just working a single crochet stitch into each stitch all the way across. Once you've worked your single crochet stitches all the way across, you're going to work one more single crochet into your corner and you're now going to work 34 single crochet stitches all the way across this rough edge. So beginning at the very end, once again I'm in the same stitch as my corner stitch, work one single crochet and then evenly work uh, the other 33 following that all along the edge. You'll want a total of 34 along this side. Uh, if you have to, if it helps, you'll want to place a stitch marker maybe halfway across and then work half stitches on one side, half on the other. It's really up to you. Again, you can change the number of stitches that you're working around your edges if you're working the Make It Your Way blankets. Uh, again, just take note because you'll want all of your blanket squares to have the same number of stitches. Once you come across to the corner, once again, work one in the corner. Then you're going to work 34 single crochet across, one in the corner, 34 single crochet across the last rough edge, one in the corner, and then join with your slip stitch into the first stitch. I'll do that when I come around. So once you come all the way around you've worked 34 single crochet stitches around each of the edges plus one in the corner. You're going to work one more in the final top corner and then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You can then go ahead and fasten off, weave in any ends, and if desired you will want to block your square uh, just to bring out the stitches a little bit more and uh, make sure that they're all the same size. Okay, so that's all there is to working this spiked sedge stitch square. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, again don't forget to subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again soon for another great crochet pattern. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.